At the Global Fintech Festival 2023, the National Payments Corporation of India has launched new features to the UPI. These exciting developments are set to transform the way Indians transact, making digital payments more accessible and convenient for everyone. First, let's talk numbers. The NPCI aims to scale up the number of UPI transactions from 10 billion per month to an astounding 100 billion per month. That's a massive leap forward in digital transactions. But what exactly is UPI? UPI or Unified Payments Interface is an instant payment system that acts as a bridge and facilitates seamless interbank transfers. It was introduced by the NPCI in 2016. Here are some of the key features of UPI that make it stand out. It allows for a single click two factor authentication for secure transactions. It has a virtual address for an extra layer of security on your transactions. It facilitates utility bill and qr code payments at zero transaction cost as most of the banks offer upi at no extra cost having said this ever wondered how the upi works behind the scenes the payer payment service provider which includes platforms like google pay and phone pay initiates the transaction request and forwards the same to the npci's upi server The NPCI ensures that the data flow between banks and the payment apps are routed to the correct and verified destinations. Following this, the UPI server forwards the same request to the payee's PSP for address resolution and authorization, which in turn provides the account details of the payee to the NPCI server. The NPCI then checks with the remitter bank to debit funds from the payer's account. Once the money gets debited, a credit request is sent to the beneficiary's bank. The beneficiary bank then credits the payee's account and responds to the NPCI server. Finally, the UPI server passes the response to the status of the transaction via payer's PSP to the customer. Having understood the UPI and its functioning, let's now explore the exciting new features of UPI. Unveiling UPI Tap and Pay. It's like having the convenience of NFC technology in your hand. Pay without your phone through smart watches and more. It now allows access to pre-approved credit from the banks through UPI, boosting merchant payments and reducing the need for point of sale machines. Ever thought of paying with your voice? Hello UPI allows just that, making it easier for those who aren't tech savvy. And with UPI Lite X, you can even make payments without an internet connection. perfect for rural and network restricted areas in addition to all these the hitachi payment services has recently launched india's first upi atm this will facilitate cardless cash withdrawals by customers and do away with the need to carry physical cards in an another significant step for upi's integration with the digital rupee some banks like sbi have introduced interoperability of the cbdc retail with the upi qr code CBDC or the Central Bank Digital Currency is a digital form of currency issued by a country's central bank. It's like the digital version of the physical money we use today. It is similar to the much hyped cryptocurrency you must have heard about, but the CBDC is backed and regulated directly by the Reserve Bank of India. UPI is not just transforming the payment landscape of India, but the government has been taking the UPI to the other countries such as France, Singapore, UAE, Oman and Nepal to name a few. The move is aimed to enable seamless cross-border transactions along with lowering the cost of fund transfers and remittance payments. In short, a global collaboration among UPI stakeholders including payment system providers and regulators can make it simple, secure and accessible for all.